Hello guys, it's me, Epic Dose, oh. and we are back with part two of Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Oh. We left off with Darwin just entering this town oh. and listening to this fey lady moan on the ground. Oh. Alright, so... We got a quest, I believe, to find a fey woman up in the hills to help the one on the ground here. Let's see what we got. What do we want to do here? I think we'll try to meet this chick after we... This fey chick. After we, uh... Check out this town. Find all the goodies in it. Break some boxes. Talk to everybody. Did you hear? One of the monks ran off into the woods looking for fey. This treasure chest. Only got seven picks. Gotta make this count. Nope. Don't think these are gonna last. Oh gosh. Nope. <laughs> How about use all of them? Oh gosh. This is bad. Oh. Stop. Ah. <laughs> Maybe I got more. Nope. I mean, I'm a warrior type, so... Who says I have to be good at lock picking? I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? Well, how about you tell me about this crystal war of yours? Be told, I know nothing of why the Tuatha are at war with the Alfar, nor why men fight the way they do. All I know is who picks up the pieces. But Tuatha's madness infected the Winter Court. All Fey existed peacefully for centuries, until the Tuatha got involved. It's sad. My experience is limited to Arnik Arduna and Katrin Orway. They seem the same as any of the rest of us. Wiser, perhaps, but decent, hard-working folk. I'm hardly a scholar, but I can tell you what I know. There are two Fey factions, the gentle Court of Summer and its coarser cousin, the Court of Winter. As a child, we were told stories of their ancient rivalry. These are surely myths, but enough to scare a young girl. In the last few years, the Court of Winter has fallen, corrupted by a group of powerful Fey called the Tuatha. It's the Tuatha we fight. And the Tuatha, we will defeat. You go, girl. I would think they were a myth if not for the Tuatha. The Fey keep far from us. Perhaps they view us as intruders in their lands. Perhaps they disapprove of our civilized ways. Perhaps they know something we don't. I fear that most of all. What about you? There was a miller's love who became a miller's wife. Now I am the wife of a soldier. My duty is to hold vigil for my beloved and for all our men on the lines. All right. Goodbye. See
Ooh, all my DLC stuff's in here. We're gonna look badass now. Ooh, I'm kind of full already though. I might have to pick and choose if I get rid of the stuff I got. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we'll come back. Greetings. Is this a store? This looks like, let's see, the inn. Need something? Hi. Pull up a stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Are you here about that fey girl they found outside? to sell stuff to you, woman. Alright. Probably can sell all this junk. Well, not all this. But all the white items. Common items that I will not be wearing. Sell that. Usable item, probably want to keep it. That's good. New to the area? I don't recall the last time I met someone who was unfamiliar with the Alpha. There are two groups, there used to be one. But that was many years ago. The Losulfa are cool, slightly aloof. The Dokulfa, however, are very friendly, but their charm masks a mischievous nature. I think you need to cut this dude next to me off on the liquor lady. I must be honest, sometimes I forget who we are fighting. All I know is that the humans and Alpha have been battling the enemy for close to ten years now. <laughs> Nothing of interest to tell. I'm just a simple farm girl from the plains of Erethel. I left home as a girl and travelled west, found myself here in Gorhart. All I know is what I've heard from others. They say that the fair folk possess powerful nature magic. That would explain the beauty of these woods. I've worked here since I was a girl. Arnik runs an honest business, and Ugnar treats me like a daughter, though he doesn't say much. If you need a healer's touch, Katrin works out of a room upstairs. She's Alpha, but I wouldn't hold that against her. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Nelson Shear will never fall! What's this? Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. 
Tell me about the war sword, Some sir. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Why not? You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Peaceful enough, if it's peace and quiet you like. Trouble with bandits and rogues now and then. That's when they send for me. There's a war in the east, and Dalentarth's got our own troubles with the Red Legion thieves. Some say they've seen Tuatha in these parts. Fools! I'll believe that when I see it. We've had our eyes on those two for some time. Red Legion scum. They're both dangerous, but it may help to know Osgar favors the bow, while Medgar favors the spear. They gonna die either way, homie. That's me. War sworn since before you've been drawing breath. An oath blade near as long. Easy now, stripling. Earn your way to Pledge Shield first. Then, in five or ten years' good service, you'll make Oathblade. <laughs> Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their Legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the Order. Sweet. Right then. We have what you need. Come in. Rest your boots by the fire, and drown your worries in a flagon of our finest. I am Arnik Arduna, and this is the famous Gorhart Inn. Tell me about the yourself. Of a soldier did not suit me. Unlike many of my brethren, I wish to celebrate with others, not kill them. Starting a public house seemed the logical step. Tell me about your inn, sir. Established 70 years ago by the great Alden Gorhard, this inn was the first all-main structure in all of Dalantar. I won it from him in a game of knuckles. Dida serves the finest ales, and upstairs you'll find Katrin, the healer. Here's some advice. Avoid Nanny Henry. I don't know what she's brewing in her little shack. The love shack. Love shack, baby. All right, anyway. Tell me about the Red Legion. Don't you bother yourself with that. Gorhart is safe. Our greatest concern is passing the time. Don't you lie to me. Darwin wants to know about room. We can offer you a place to rest and refresh yourself. Interested? Darwin is not interested in room. We're here to serve. The wounded maiden. Don't worry about that, my friend. Don't let the concerns of our local warden trouble you. You're here as a guest. There is no Red Legion. And if there was, it certainly wouldn't be out here in Gorhart. Asshole. I think you're lying to me. What do you train me in? Deep lag, you know? Detect hidden. <laughs> Can detect hidden treasure, I'm guessing? We'll come back to you. We'll see you soon. Later. With so many of our young ones at war, it's been quiet in Gorhart. That has to hurt your neck.
Don't mind me, just tearing up the place. Theta sells potions at the inn, but they're not cheap. <laughs> Thankfully, the war is far from here. Be cautious in the forest. There are dangers with sharp teeth, and many of them. Sharp teeth. Darvin likes sharp Some teeth. Some will get what they deserve. The mission has locked its doors. I wonder what's going on. Sister Zelda has a point. How can the one who embraces everyone reject certain people simply because they're women? Gracing. It's not right. What is this? No barrel stands a chance when Darwin's in town. You gonna heal me? I bet you heal me. Oop. Don't want to do that. No, thank you. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? Hmm. Let's find out. Oh, I don't need you. I don't need your services, wench. The Gnome's Tower stands to the west, past Gorhart and beyond the ruins of Alistar Glade. However, no one should seek Alistar. Its secrets should be kept. Why? Why would you even talk about it then? Darwin is confused. I am unable to watch while others suffer. Too many mortals have fallen prey to the Tuatha and I could not stomach it. So I left my home in Rathir and traveled west. There are many all main villages just like this one, yearning for peace, crying out in pain. What good are my gifts if I cannot make what is broken whole again? What do you think about this crystal war? I buried everything I was when I buried my family. That is the war's legacy for many of us. That is all I have the strength to say. You a fay? Find the fair folk if you wish to learn the ways of magic. They understand this world in a way that is hidden from mortals. You will find many fay in Dalantar as it is one of their ancestral homes. The forests of this region are one of the densest in all of Armalor, and the stretch from Alistar to Issa. Those of us who live in the shadow of its canopy call Dalantarth the Feylands, because this is where these fair folk have their seat of power. Aren't you a Fey? I'm confused. Pretty sure you're a Fey. But anyway. Please Avoid Dyden Hill. The blood plague is spreading. Now why is this glowing? Can't loot anything if I'm gonna be a good guy. It's just, it's just not right. Just can't, can't get myself to do it. No one would see me though. But nah. But wait, nah. No, wait. Nah, okay. Yeah, I don't need anything. Good guys don't steal. We do break barrels, though. Free of charge. Stay alert. Bandits are everywhere. Didn't miss anything, did I? 
I think we can finally get my stuff out of the chest outside. I feel like once I enter an area, I have to see everything in it. Otherwise, I'll forget about it. Nice to see you. All right, let's look awesome. Shepherds. Yep. Take this stuff first. Wind. The moon. All this stuff is cool. Just a lot of stuff. Mm. The beast. The forge. The tower. The mountain. Feel the flame, the song. Ah, I don't know. Let's see how much room we got after we put all this stuff on. Oh, that's just, that's just too cool. We're gonna have to use that, even though it's probably really slow. What does that look like? Yeah. We're gonna use that for now. I wanna dual wield eventually, but... That's just too sick. Alright. What is this? It's a staff. Yield. Oh, it's like a totem. Or scepter. Alright. Do that as our primary. Or secondary. I think I'm gonna go with these. That's cool. That looks cooler. Looking pretty badass already. Oh, that's just... Oh! Oh! No! Not you! Anybody but you! Why were you standing there? You're okay to die now. <laughs> wow. I like this. Did you see the war sworn at the inn? I wonder if he's trying to find new hirelings. Maybe I should volunteer. Maybe you should. What's up, guy? Nothing to see back here. Just a man working for his pay. We in Gorehart like to stay focused on our business. That way the face stay focused on theirs. 
Gulhart is an Elmain settlement, so you won't find too many Alpha here. They tend to stay close to Rathia, their city on the coast. I don't mind them. If there was ever a reason to believe that Fey and mortals cannot live together, it is this strange and brutal war. The Alpha fight without any true knowledge of the enemy they face. I've seen this kind of conflict before and it never ends well. The peace between mortals and the Fey is a passing one. They will always see us as occupiers of this land. We borrow what can never be given. Those fools in that mission on the hill are wasting their days. Creatures of such power do not worship gods. They are gods. Okay. The Alpha and Fae are, are like different. Saying that chick upstairs was Fae. No, she's Alpha. Which I think are a form of Fae. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll learn. It's just fine. It's remote, away from the shadows of the crystal wall. It's also quiet. Most of the time. What do you know of the Red Legion? Whatever it is, forget it. You'll be safer, wiser, and better off in the end. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. I think you're wrong, sir. Aggressive mood right now. I am digging this sword. I don't remember having this before. Red Legion. The post in Gorhart would be an easy one if not for all the thieves and murderers. Believe me, the attack has me spooked. I'm not even a proper warden, just a volunteer. I'll stick to jail duty. At least there, the criminals are behind locked doors. Tell me about yourself. This is Herc Adwald, the village warden. You might have met him. Herc asked me to move to Gorhart to help him keep the peace. I've only been here a few days, and look what I'm up against. Red Legion, two author, and bodies lying in the road. I'm off to a grand start. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded two author. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace. At least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. Our guests aren't the wickedest breed you'll find in these forests, but they're bad enough to earn a spot in my collection. Stay clear. That's an order. Something tells me I'll be in there. Bank, which I don't think is till way further on. Behave yourself. If it even has a bank, I don't remember. 
You there, do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? What symptoms? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. Tell me it was an me early that. version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Lovely. I'll help you. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it! It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. Haven't you seen it? The Grim Tower to the West. Avoid its shadow if you can, because what transpires inside Alistar will benefit no one, I would know. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Oh my goodness. For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. I fear for his life. Karth was gifted in a way that I've witnessed in only a select few. If the Red Legion has him, there's no telling of how he'll be treated. If you must know, my name is Nani Hanri, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. Bandits, ruthless and well organized. The Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. Farewell. Another quest. Behave yourself. Do that, please.
I take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's see here, mana, damage. I want to start over. Actually, read what these do. Health, restoration, resistance, luck. I bet ya this one. And this one will make a heal over time potion. Oh, a minor healing potion. <clears throat> Let's use all those up. Oh, I guess you can't spare what. Experiment with something you already learned. Sweet. There, we got some heal potions. Oh, it's the same thing. Die, box! Stealing gold. It isn't right. Stay close to the village. Go upstairs. Check out the digs. Right, nothing up here. That I can have without stealing. In there. I don't think we went in here. Hello. Welcome to Gorehart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Let's see what you got. Those come in handy pretty quick. Let's see here. Let's see here. Probably can sell this green stuff right now. I'll find better stuff as we go. So, Rika, come here often? Me? Widowed, going on five years now. All my boys were taken by the Tuatha. Both sons, my brother, and my beloved Avery. Wicked business, this war. So... Sounds like you do come here often. 
What do you think of to the Tawatha? I refuse to speak of them. Please respect my wishes. Aye, touchy. The Alfar and the Tuatha have been at each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't remember the reason. I wonder if they can, the fools. You will find it settled on a small lake beside the Eastern Road. Compared to Gorhart, Dydenhill could be called a city. The Fey are elemental creatures, magical and strange. None too considerate of us mortals either. They see us like pets, or worse, like bugs. It's best that you stay out of the Eastern Forest. I've seen things you can't even imagine. The road is dark and dangerous, and it's a long hike to Dydenhill. Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Nettie the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. They don't scare me, darling. Oh, I doubt it's an organized group. More likely that it's one scared idiot with a knife. I heard someone in the village mention the Red Legion, but that can't be true. Hmm. She told me not to speak of them. And what happens? I told you. I will say no more on this matter. Okay. Goodbye. Later. Take care of your barrels and boxes for you. They seem to be a problem, Rika. Oh, blacksmithy. Right, I can't make anything. Probably could have salvaged all that armor I just sold, but all in good time. We will have more armor and stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like I can't do anything right now. I have nothing to salvage. What's so, up? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Not the lord's favor. Troublesome creatures, the Alpha. No doubt this war is a result of their meddling in the affairs of others. We here in Gorhart are far from the front, and deliberately so. Our hearts may be with the Alpha, but our bodies stay here, safe on the other side of Dalentarth. We've seen our fair share of dead, the truth is, we have as many cemeteries as we do settlements. Look around you. These are no mere woods. This is the heart of the Feylands. Once you enter the forest, you won't emerge again until you reach the plains. The Fey are one with this land in ways that no mortal race could ever be. They are true creatures of magic. Leave the village, walk 50 paces in any direction, and you'll find a Fey. Pray it's a friendly one. It is an Alfar stronghold in the east. And if the reports from the front are to be believed, Melsenshir is all that stands between the Tawatha and us. I intended to pledge my sword to the Alfar, to fight the blasted Tawatha. Had my helmet freshly polished, my sword sharpened to a deadly edge. Then I saw the cart headed west. They carried the corpses of the fallen, some all the way from Melsenshir. After that, my fire to fight went out forever. I hear their warriors die as easily as any others, only they don't stay dead. That can be a problem during wartime. I'd say so. I was raised to know weapons before anything else. 
You won't meet many women who could fashion arrow fletchings before they could speak. I'll be here. Can I help you? Never mind. I don't need anything I'll repaired. But I did. What is it? I thought about searching for treasure in that nearby Arathi ruin, Agno Farhol, but they say it's overrun with dark spirits. Hmm. Wonder if I can craft something now. Closer. Getting closer. No. What is? Oh, I guess I need the hand wrap, or the hand. I need the hand. I'm missing a hand. All right. Oh yes, I almost forgot to go upstairs. That's most of the town. Other than, uh. Check up here. Let's see, what we did. We went there. We went there. We went there. Now we just need to check up here. Stay indoors after sundown. Why won't you die? Oh, oh, not again. Uh, uh, excuse me. Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. The light of hope will leave you in shadow. Does it, do they also make you a bum who sleeps on the steps in some random town? If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Mitharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the church deems worthy. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. That's... okay. You just stay there on your rock. Your step. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. Do 
You need aid? Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Why do you worry? Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fay and Alfar. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. Guess I could help you out with that. Darvin likes doing stuff like that. I'm out. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please Check. find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. I don't know if I want to be in your fold, buddy. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. He is a good boy, but our youngest, and Egan often suffers from doubt. That is to be expected. One can only grow out of conflict, especially conflict of the spirit. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that wisdom would come in time, but he is impatient. Brash. He wanted a faster way to enlightenment and power. The Fey are stubborn fools. They treat their souls like toys, with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. Sounding creepy. Frustrating, that one. Stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Mitharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. I got a hand of reason. The first bricks were laid fifty years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fae to the worship of Mitharu. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. May Mitharu protect you. Daru. Cannot save me, are you? Alright. Let's do some. Other than talk. I think it's time. Let's see here. Where? What and where and what shall we do? Okay. There's this thing. Well, look at the local man. That's what we want. Okay, okay, okay. Something's right here. The apprentice. Hit this up first. It looks somewhat near. I don't know if I want chakrams or a bow. We'll stick with the chocolates right now. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, 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 alright. Take this 
this is the one I want. Yes. Here I come to save the day. First, I got to loot this chest. I'm gonna run out of room quick, ain't I? How much inventory space do I got? Am I missing something? Where is it at? Somewhere here. Yeah. Time to kill stuff. Oh, they are already dead, and they don't even know it. Oh yeah, I like the sword. I feel powerful. Got me some death's touch. Oh, here's something. Ah! Oh. Oh, you didn't even stand a chance once I whirlwind your bare butt. Alright. Uh oh, it's gonna be hard. And we got two big locks. Lock picks. You know what I'm saying. Oh god. Watch it be right in the middle. Oh. No! Why? I, I hate leaving chests behind. We'll have to get it later. Want to get the stuff around here before I take off. I think I just skipped the lure stone. Lua. Talk to me, stone. I don't know if what they say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck your on, on the that. ground, and every morning Almost. at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> That was... That was funny. Alright. I'm gonna pick this plant. Alright, alright. Let's do some dungeon now. Who's going to die first? What are you doing down here? 
Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Hmm. Ooh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. You asshole! Moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? It is time. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Just guessed he was over there. Oh. Oh, that's badass. Oh. Karth, get off me. Get off me, Karth. Give me your sh- mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Damn. I might have to go buy lockpicks. I think I will. There's too much good stuff in this dungeon. I think there's a couple chests. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, we'll go grab lockpicks. I think you can buy them. We'll find out. Run! Anyway, die. Yeah. What's up, Rika? How you been? You got some lock picks for me, baby? Good long for some lock picks. Ooh. Oh, you always have what I like. You know just what I want. I don't think the DLC gear goes obsolete for a while. Pretty much can sell everything that is not needed. Goodbye. Goodbye, baby. Catch you later. To the dungeon. <laughs> Get the buff again.
mind the there it is. Alright. We can do this. Okay, not there. Oh my gosh. Give me a break. Wow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We did it! After using almost all the lockpicks that we just bought. even have to move it. Not at all. And I got another lockpick. That's how you do it, boys and girls. Welcome to the lockpick show with Darwin. Oh, I'm just killing your buddy over here. You can just stay over there. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, you dead. Walk like a complete badass. Come get some. Come get it. down here first? Let's check. Yes. Aren't these guys so cute? Oh no, these guys aren't cute. Feeling like I'm getting much stuff for alchemy. 
when I mess with those plants. Talk to me, baby. Sometimes this is too hard to believe. But you can accept the strangest fact that you were wrong. Yes, but that and this endless vacuity is horrible. The Ancient Ones were here. They delivered themselves into the world. The time-worn cycle turns with ages. The seasons drift along the stream. They wait for the past. The future brings the forming storm. This is no place for a home for anyone. Deep. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Uh, give me something to bash and smash and trash. You there? Come get hit. Feel very fast with the big ass sword. Oh, there's no one here to finish off. I guess I have to finish off these guys that are already finished off. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! 100% baby! Oh! 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 in that box? Oh, it's just to destroy some boxes. Like they had to tell me that. This is what this game is about. A journey of destroying barrels and boxes.
Wait a second. Not this way. Oh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Oh, this treasure chest, I guess. Wait a second. I feel like I missed something. I missed something at some point. Let's backtrack. How did I manage to miss the boxes? Um, hmm. Let's try this one. Alright. We cannot. Does do anything? Okay. We must backtrack. I think I missed boxes somewhere. <laughs> Do not know how. Darwin does not miss box. Uh just, just backtrack everything. Clearly we have missed something. No box here. Show yourself, box. Our boxes. Where do you hide? down either one of these ways. It might be on that bridge where we came in at. See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention, boys and girls. Pretty proficient of oh, there's a box. <laughs> it was already broken, obviously. Cannot break it. These are all it. Pretty sure I broke these. Hmm. Maybe 
need to read what we are doing here. Oh, they're outside. That's what it would seem like. Backtracked for no reason. That's alright. I can run for days. Where is my trusty steed when I need him? That is half that sword has to be quite hot. Carrying around. <laughs> right, boxes. I will find you. And I will kill you. Jump! Oh, no. Oh, oh, we gotta go to this spot to jump. There we go. Where are you, boxes? It would seem that you're north. This the Red Legion Die Bandit Scum. What have you done to this man? Camden. Legion. Oh, in the boxes. Come. Get over here. Oh, you did. Lightning! Lena Warrior Princess on your butt? Alright. Oh, you got it. This is a dead box.
Sigbert's journal. I've come for the boxes. Anybody gets in my way, they shall face my wrath. Clearly they were scared. I have ran off. Do you even have to move it? <laughs> That's what I call easy. Tell me a story. Sheep bestets rang in combat fair. Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near. Oh, how lovely. Die box. Right now I have boxes to kill. He doesn't even see me. Ooh, oh, this is one of the, the brothers I have to kill. I think. Die box and Red Legion Archer. There we go. Yes, it is. A numbing staff. Again, no movement. Just right down the middle. Get over here! Get over here! Silly archer man. There can only there can only be one and I choose me. Sounds good. Alright. I have killed all the boxes family. <laughs> <laughs> What is up there? Is that where I jumped down from? 
Where am I? felt obligated to walk through this big log. I was enticed. I will save you. Dead. What's up, dude? Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmaran, the Eternal, Messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. I want to be careful with your so sword there, buddy. I'm gonna stab your face. I'm here to rescue Wait. you! Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends. Fey friends! They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> they are Fey Twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They've promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Oh, I wasn't ready to go yet there. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alpha, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about... Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus. No? And those were the good ones. Mortal races have no lasting grasp on this world, and in time the Fair Ones shall be our masters, beautiful and mighty. They believe I have the potential to succeed where all others have failed, including them. You see, they can't obtain what they desire, so they need someone more powerful to do it. Then they will bestow upon me the wisdom of the Fey. Legend tells of the great Fey city hidden beneath the canopies of Dalantarth. I've never met anyone who's been there, but I'm sure it's real. Yes, I'm quite sure. Not a doubt in my mind. It is called the Selkie Vale and it's said to possess the power to transform its wearer into any form he wishes. Finna says it belongs to the Fae, but was stolen. I don't know much about the relic, only that it was supposedly crafted by a Fae mage named Armin the Clever. Armin is a good name. Not as good as Kazmaran, though.
Father Dimwell and the others are fools, and their silly mission will wither and crumble. Finna and Arbos have glimpsed it with their ever-seeing eyes. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. See you later. Follow. Going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. You pussy. Local legend says that the great Fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these cabins to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Goodbye I now. Some bitch. Ooh, big turd with rocks in it. <clears throat> Wait a second. Find the veil. <coughs> Oop, these guys need business. Yeah. A 
I'm big pimpin' now. We must find the veil. More treasure. Ah, that looks like feces. You did. You did again. Oh, you did some more. Dead. Probably a waste of that. It's probably a boss coming up. That nothing's gonna happen when I touch this. Oh okay. yeah. What an adventure. Through daggers. Once again. Jump! Talk to you, guy running. Ooh, here's his friends. What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The Feylands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. See if we can. Cursed, is it? Huh. It does look like you are well acquainted with misfortune. Keep the veil, then. There are other treasures to be had in the Feylands. Make certain our paths do not cross again, or my brother will add his mark to your scars. A charming boy, but simple. My brother and I do prefer them witless and eager. He would have done so much more for us if not for you. 
Before the war, we plundered Rothir from within. We were so successful that the Warsworn had bounties on our heads. Not much, but enough to be proud of. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of so many wartime outlaws, we were forced to relocate here. It was for the best, if you ask me. Legend states that the wearer of the veil will be granted strange abilities. Fey abilities. So you can imagine why my brother and I might be curious. It's Goodbye! Not... I... I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. You must think me a fool. And Father Dinwell... Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Goodbye now! I hope you're brighter than poor Egan. From the looks of it, I'd say probably not. I don't Asshole. care enough to have an opinion of the poor fellow, I'm afraid. He flits in and out of my thoughts, never registering. The most useful fools are the ones who never leave an impression. My twin sister and I share a very close relationship. It allows us to work fluidly without consultation. In other words, we act as one. Farewell. Okay. Get you back home, little fella. Boxes. It's not far. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. See you later. Day. Great Mitharu, Egan has returned. As for you, you have done as I asked, and we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. It is only by the grace of Mitharu that Egan has been returned to us. Of course, you had a hand in that miracle as well. The authority works in many ways. Okay. Got Egan back to his cult. Welcome back. 
And we will end this Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning right here.